All right, Aaron. So uh, clearly, uh, this image represents a lot of different things. We can begin with um, the fact that it's um, a, a desktop ekphrasis uh, for today. Uh, what's the date today? April 18th, I believe, either April 18th or April 19th, uh, 2022. This is a Monday, just uh, following the... Uh, convergence of uh, of three you know separate um, sacred religious um, ho holidays is, is only the right word in, in, in the, the original and uh, etymological sense of uh, holiday the the holy days right um, for Islam um, Judaism and, uh, and and Christianity and uh, and it still is uh, within the holy days of uh, Islam and uh, and Judaism. So um, uh, that you know has something to do with uh, this image, but not in an obvious way and and not in a way that we'll actually discuss. Which you know leads me to uh, the first facet of this this image, which. Uh, which belongs to the idea, I guess, Aaron, of uh, Socratic method and and feigning, and in some sense to uh, to the uh, the psychological construct of uh, of the trickster figure. And um, so let's go, you know, to the Socratic method first. And this is, you know, named after. Uh, Socrates, who was a, a teacher, but uh, the Socratic method involves um, asking the students questions and 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 letting the students discover the answers for themselves, and 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 moving um, the dialectic for for Socrates wasn't uh, wasn't strictly a uh, a mechanical construct, um, and wasn't strictly uh, a synthetic construct that um, that the dialectic you know came to be that is you know thesis uh, antithesis synthesis but rather uh, a way of working in which uh, more of a sort of call and response and uh, and part of the way that that worked was that uh, if there was a an error right in the original uh, formulation of an idea then um, then the process of understanding would be, you know, correcting that that error. So um, that that's that's hidden in this image somewhere, um, and and I'll give you a hint. We're looking out from uh, the space of a cave, and uh, and uh, even to get to Socrates from that cave, you know, you have to go through Plato, and and that in a sense is. Uh, a kind of uh, a kind of uh, non-synthetic, you know, dialectic of memory um, that a discerning uh, student and 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 reader of, of this uh, piece will 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 get. Um, then there's the missing uh, top of the of the arch, right, which we've discussed before, and uh, we've discussed in relationship to the psychological phenomenon of reification, all right? And, um, and then there's this ab abstract configuration of a rainbow um, as it's utilized to, uh, as a mnemonic device to help, uh, to help young students remember all of the ways of adding the numerical values zero to 10 together to derive uh, the number ten, and uh, and 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 this this particular image um, I want to focus on because we've talked in in a number of different pieces about the use of uh, the original formulation of the Alfred E. E. von Neumann uh, living universe experience. And um, and uh, and the and the problematic <clears throat> of uh, the EE 
relating to E. E. Cummings and the and the the conservative ideology of of that particular poet and um, and his bigoted and uh, and racist remarks and um, and we didn't really want to be associated with uh, with that particular aspect of E. E. Cummings, even though. Early on, we had recognized uh, some value in the way that uh, that aspects of his poetics were were constructed, and um, and then you know that led to uh, this discussion of uh, bless you. That led to a discussion of uh, you know how one can continue to utilize figures uh, like uh, Walt Whitman or or others that. Uh, you know, one found uh, some some value or, or, or democratic vista in, and then uh, also, um, you know, discovered uh, the problematic relation that such figures had to uh, colonialism or uh, American racism and uh, and in and, and other ways of. Uh, You know other ways of organizing um, the patterns of their thought in uh, in destructive and uh, and oppressive ways. So so we had uh, opened up for discussion. You know the renaming of the uh, the Alfred E. E. Uh, von Neumann Living Universe Theater Experience and. Uh, and came up with a, a number of possible solution sets. But one of the things that I had uh, feigned um, and been uh, disingenuous about, and this is again the work of uh, the work of uh, Coyote or, or, or Renard or the Fox or, uh, or the Trickster or, 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 uh, or Socrates you know, himself, leaving some information um, out. And, you know, we have discussed often the way that uh, numerical values can be uh, transformed into to letters, and uh, and and those you know two e's um, can also be transformed into into fives. And uh, one of the things that I I believe I've left out in the discussion of the uh, the selection of e e the EEs in the original uh, nominalization, naming of uh, the Alfred E.E. E. von Neumann, etc., etc., is, uh, is this uh, counting uh, mnemonic figure. And, uh, and what this does is uh, it, it allows, um, it allows the set of numerical expressions of these first 11 numbers, these first 11 positive integers that, uh, that can be utilized to reach the destination of the numerical value 10 to be visualized uh, in this, uh, this nonlinear way. And one of the reasons that uh, this particular image and this particular uh, tool um, is important to me is uh, because of my uh, specific uh, set of parameters for understanding and and my specific you know embodied set of uh, abilities and and. Uh, and limitations, sequencing uh, is is very difficult. Uh, as I've mentioned before, Aaron, uh, multiplying and dividing isn't as difficult for me as uh, adding and subtracting. And, and for whatever reason, you know, the specific dyscalculia belongs to uh, sequencing and uh, addition and subtraction uh, that. Uh, are hard to, to keep track of. So this particular device, and uh, just like, you know, the schoolhouse 
rock uh, tunes that we put up earlier was um, one of those tools that could have been sorted into this is uh, a device that makes my life easier, right? And uh, as opposed to the sorting of those tools that ended up in uh, this is not uh, a device or a tool that makes my life easier. So these rainbow facts are a tool that make my life easier uh, as a uh, as a calculating tool that, that helps me to uh, overcome this uh, experience of dyscalcula that belongs to the uh, overall set of, of, uh, <laughs> of features in this uh, dyscalcula, dysgraphia, uh, cognitive configuration that, um, that belongs to my set of uh, embodiment in the world. So at the, at the very center of, uh, of this rainbow is, uh, is this purple section. Uh, and keep in mind, you know, we're still like uh, focusing on the the arc of the of the the rainbow and its relationship to uh, this particular arc. That's both a cave and a representation of uh, of uh, seeing beyond right the confines of the cave through uh through the opening the mouth of the cave and you know a representation of uh, our discussion of reification and its relationship to uh representational processes in uh conventional and non-conventional art making all right so keeping all that in mind the very center of this uh this tool is represented by uh by the purple arc or arch that uh, that is a five. I don't know why they put one five in the middle. They should have placed a five uh, here, the way they did with the, the, the ends of the other rainbows, right? It's not just five added to it, added to nothing that makes 10, it's five and five. So if there were a five on this side of the five and a five on the other side of the five and, and no five in the middle, it would be a more accurate uh, representation of what, what, what is, um, was being uh, expressed here. So five plus five is 10, which sounds very schoolhouse rock if you, if you sing it. Five plus five is 10. So you get the idea, Aaron. And, uh, and, and, and this was one of the... Uh, this was another one of the uh, reasons that we, we, we chose EE e., uh, rather than just uh, the Alfred E. E. Neumann or von Neumann, you know, theater. And, uh, and, and, and the, tricks, the, the trickster element of it is that, you know, we, we haven't mentioned this fact, or if we have mentioned this fact, uh, we don't recall mentioning this fact, or if we do recall mentioning this fact, we're feigning that we don't recall mentioning this fact, right? So feigning gives us a way uh, to put this information on the table and, uh, and to let, you know, you as a student and, and others um, figure, figure it out um, to find the, the root to say, you know, the number 10, uh, given the, the resources of the tool. And, uh, and, and that resource um, belongs to another resource and another tool uh, that we've discussed um, extensively, which is irony and the iron. Is the iron always presents uh, himself or herself or their selves or, or, um, or any other selves? In connection, in connection to some kind of of, of feigning of uh, feigning of either a position of uh, ignorance or or feigning uh, a lack of understanding of uh, of the motivations of the Alanon, but this feigning um, gives a certain tactical or strategic advantage. Uh, 
in the struggle to to bring down the tyrant and um and um and also relates in a certain way to um cryptic um, um coding systems and uh, and hiding and masks and uh, all of those things that uh, in one way or another belong to the, the semiotics of, of theater. So in theater, there's always uh, a kind of, within the mimesis, not, not necessarily what we would call a lie, but, but in representation, um, there, there is a, uh, there is a, we, we could almost say procedure, procedural transposition of of of, uh, of an x unknown into a, a y unknown and um and and that is uh, the mask itself now um in uh and we've talked about this as well in in more you know modern and contemporary theaters where life is presented as art you know sometimes um sometimes there's an expo exponentialization of uh, of that uh, aspect of mimesis as a misrepresentation and sometimes the opposite sometimes there's a declaration that uh, there is no mimesis but um, but a set of activities being you know placed in the world and and you know you could figure configure those two um, those two poles of the exploration of the misrepresentation in mimesis as belonging to on the side of the collapse of misrepresentation um alan capro right when the, when they're the no no but even within capro's work you know there's still misrepresentation right because when he suggested that you take that dirty car to the car wash that you 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 pretend like a you don't know how it got smeared with jelly, or you don't talk about the fact that it's an art piece. Well, that's a kind of feigning, isn't it? So, and then on the other side, um, you know, you would have someone like Eleanor Anton, you know, who uh, pretends that you know she performed these these pieces, you know, uh, the King of Solana Beach. But even 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 that, even the. Uh, even the performance is a, a feigning of a performance. There never really was a performance, right? Just, you know, um, photographs uh, sort of feigning the documentation of a performance piece that, that never took place. So, so those two extremes, you know, are often explored in um, contemporary, you know, what we could call post-theatrical um, constructs of mimesis but um but uh but both of them <clears throat> whether whether the expanded form of uh misrepresentation or the collapsed form of misrepresentation relate back to this you know idea uh that belongs to the iron and and the feigning and the trickster pretending uh and being disingenuous in a certain way that we've explored in a number of pieces, although maybe not explicitly in very many of those pieces. All right, <clears throat> so coming back to that, the 55 here and the, and the way that it is the center of this particular device, this tool for remembering and, and calculating these addition and subtraction problems, um, was central to the selection of uh, the original uh, name of the Alfred, you know, E.E., e., et cetera, et cetera, theater. And, uh, and uh, not only, you know, because um, the, the five was the, the central number, the E.E. The e. was the central number, but also because it was represented by the purple, which, as you know, Aaron, you know, happens to be our, our favorite color. And it's also a color uh, that's associated, uh, here's the color, and it's associated with, with this movement, with the hashtag We the 15 movement. And, um, and because uh, we derived, you know, the the uh, the EE and the fifty five 
from the, the rainbow symbol, and, uh, and it belongs, and that color value belongs to this. We're also, you know, making reference to, uh, to the color purple, but doing so um, somewhat discreetly. So the EE also refers to this particular deployment of the color purple, which, um, you know, you'll re perhaps recall was celebrated uh, recently on August 20th, 2021, uh, with a, uh, events celebrating the color purple. Around the globe, various locations. This is New York City's Empire State Building. This is a link. This is Tokyo's Rainbow Bridge, which utilizes the um, the physics of the of the arch combined with um, the fact of gravity as a way of uh, maintaining its structure. This is London. Oh, I think that's about it. Um, so all of that, so all of that was going on, and um, and none of that has has been discussed until until now. And uh, and the uh, a renaming right of uh, a renaming of the Alfred. E, e, et cetera, et cetera. We allowed ourselves as a performative and, and, and performativity precisely because we had uh, omitted uh, this information regarding this particular use of the rainbow symbol, the five and the five and the, the, uh, the numerical letters uh, transformative grammar into the the ee and um, you know had we we not allowed ourselves you know to do that had we not feigned right had that not been part of the strategy of of our art making uh, we wouldn't have um, been able to uh, configure the the renaming of the Alfred E, e et cetera, et cetera, as a contest, and we wouldn't have been able to bring out and discuss uh, the information regarding E.E. E. Cummings and to tie it to the fascism of Ezra Pound and to question um, the relationship between uh, these um, uh, formal, formally or structurally uh, innovative uh, modernists and um, and their problematic ideologies and, and, and other aspects of, of uh, what we perhaps wanted to call attention to in the number 55 and all of the ways that um, things can be uh, multiple things at the same time. So feigning became, you know, uh, an aesthetic strategy in, in the same way that it is a pedagogical strategy. And it was, you know, both pedagogical and aesthetic and, and, and um, in the way that uh, our discourses are represented as discourses and what becomes the remainder of those discourses and what is um, and uh, and what uh, is featured within uh, the way that uh, that even a remainder is always the result of uh, of a tool or, or an apparatus uh, that is deployed uh, to to derive uh, some kind of value, whether that value is 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 a, is an entire set, you know, and a multiplicity, or a single solution, as in uh, those responses uh, solicited by questions on 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 tests such as the uh, ACT or the uh, SAT or the GRE or the GED or or the etc. 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 So. Um, so that, Aaron, is, uh, that strategy 
or that use or that deployment um, gives us opportunities and, uh, and ways of moving in time that we wouldn't have if we always uh, presented the facts uh, in, in a simple and straightforward manner and said, you know, zero plus nine equals 10. One plus two equals 10. Eight plus six equals 10. Three plus four equals 10, right? If we said it in a simple manner like that, always just getting it right, um, we wouldn't be able to explore some of these other ideas and to explore them as we, you know, see fit and, and in our own time across space and across time. So that, that's a lot for today and we're almost up to a half an hour. So I'll quit there and uh, let you think about that. And if you have a piece that you want to uh, present, you know, based on uh, that discussion, you know, we can, we can, we can present that as well.